This is a tutorial on the slice cube. And if you look at it carefully, you'll notice that it's actually nothing more than a 3x3x3 three by three by three with a slight modification. The way, there's always six sides I can turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the mechanism is the same as a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so now from here, just like a 3x3, three three, the first thing you want to do is to solve the first layer starting with the cross. And in this one, just because of the shape, it's particularly easier to solve either the white or the yellow cross first. So I'll start with the white, and these pieces right here, the one with the square and a triangle attached to it, those count as the edge pieces. So I want to solve the cross for that first. Now that I'm looking, there's, al there's already one that's connected, and that's an orange. So I want to find the other white and orange piece, and put it next to it. So that's right here. And I've connected it. Now I have two parts to the cross. And you have to make sure that the same colored sides are going to be in a single plane. Like this. Okay, so now I need the white and reds on this side. There's one right here. And another one right here. Okay, so now I've solved the first cross for the white side with the red and the orange in the correct place, places. And now I want to solve for the corner pieces for that layer. And this one, you really can't, unless you memorize the color pattern, you really can't tell which color should go on this side or this side. It can either be green and blue or blue and green. So I'm just going to put any one in and if it turns out to be false later, I can easily fix that. So I'll put in the green on this side, and I'll put in the blue on this side. And again, this is just like a regular 3x3x3 three by three by three solving the first layer. And this one's going to be the white and red. And the white and orange. Okay, now I want to solve the second layer. And to do that, the first thing I want to fix is the center pieces. So first of all, I have to turn the bottom face until I have the correct centers in the correct locations. So I have two oranges here, so that's going to be on the orange side. And two reds here, so that will be on the red side. And as you can see, other than this center piece, these pieces are supposed to be centers. All of the other center pieces are misaligned. So, to fix that, I'm going to take that side, so now, since that's the centerpiece, this would be a face. I'm going to bring the parts I solved from the first layer up to the opposite side, move that completely out of the way, and then align it to how I want it. So now I've lined it, and when I put it back, this centerpiece is now solved. So I want to do the same for the other side. Now the orange. This is these are the pieces associated with the orange face. So I'm going to move that to the opposite yellow side. Move that completely out of the way. And now I'm going to turn the center until I can align it. Once it's aligned, bring it back down to the bottom. And same thing with this one. Flip it over and align it. And when I bring it back, now all the centers of the second layer are now solved. Next, I'm going to put in the edge pieces for the second layer. And again, this is just like the regular 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So I see the red piece, which will go in here. And this one, it doesn't matter whether you start from the left side or from the right side. I'll start with the left side. So that's going to be F, R, F inverted, R inverted. 
So, I meant U. So, U, R, U inverted, R inverted. Then U inverted, F inverted. U, F. Now that edge piece is in. And next side of this green piece I can put in. I can put this green edge piece in here. And this time I'll start with the right. So it's going to be on the right side. So that'll be U inverted, L inverted, U, L, U, F, U inverted, F inverted. And that edge piece is solved. Next I have these two pieces. I have an orange here. So I can put that in here. I'll start with the left. So U. Okay, so U. R. U inverted. R inverted. U inverted. F inverted. U. F. Now that edge piece is solved. And I have the last one. Start with the right. And you should know the algorithm. So. Oh, it's this piece. So U inverted. L inverted. U. L. U, F, U inverted, F inverted. Now my second layer is now solved. Now it's just solving it like a regular 3 by 3 by 3. And for this side, now I have to make the cross. So first I want to bring all the yellow pieces to the top. And that's also like a 3 by 3 by 3. I'll just use the algorithm to flip around the edge pieces on the top. And that'll be F, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, F inverted. And one more time, F, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, F inverted. Now once I had that, I had to put these in the correct order. And again, I want to have both reds on this side and both oranges on this side. So that means that these two have to switch. So to do that, I'll start from here. And the algorithm I'm going to use is going to swap this piece, that piece, and that piece in a counterclockwise motion. So this piece will now move over here and align with their yellow and red. So starting with the one I'm not moving in front, I'm going to do R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted. And these two are now solved. And these two are now next to each other but in the wrong order. So these have to swap. And to do that, I'm going to do what I just did, except I'm going to swap these three pieces counterclockwise. By doing so, these two will move over once, and so they'll still be solved relative to each other. But this piece will now move over to here and match with this yellow and orange. So with these two I'm, that I want to keep the same on the back and the right, I'll do the algorithm again. R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2 U, R inverted. Now all my, all my cross is now solved. Next I'm just going to solve for the corner pieces in the last layer. And this yellow and orange piece is already in the correct place. Now to swap these two, go, these three going in a clockwise motion. So if I'm going clockwise, I'm going to keep the piece I'm not moving in the front right. And from here, I'll do L inverted, U, R, U inverted, L, U, R inverted, U inverted. Okay, so right now, now that I'm looking at this, these two are switched. And as you should know, on a regular 3x3x3, three by three by three, having only two corner pieces swapped like this is impossible. That probably means that the first two, these greens and these blues, have to be switched. And that's actually pretty simple. So to switch these, all you have to do is turn, move both of them up to the top. This one will go to the yellow side like this. And this one, I also have to bring to the yellow side. I don't want to bring it up this way because that will mess up the top layer over here, so instead I want to move it this way. So they're both going up to the center, up to the top, and from here I'm going to rotate the top face twice, and all that's doing is swapping them. Now as you can see, these two are swapped, and these two are swapped. The only problem with this is that it messed up these 
uh, etch pieces, so I just have to reorder them again. So I'll move, I'll use the same algorithm I did before to turn these three counterclockwise. R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted, and solve like that. Okay, so now I'm going to turn these three counterclockwise again. So R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted, that solves for the two reds. And one more time, with the two reds in the back and the right, since they're already solved, I'll turn these three counterclockwise to solve for the orange and yellow. So R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted. And that'll solve for these edge pieces. And again, I just have to place these corner pieces now. So this yellow and red will move over here. So I'm going to turn these three going clockwise again. So I'll use the same algorithm I showed you earlier. So in that case, I'm not going to move this corner piece. So that will be in the front and the right since so I'm going clockwise. And from here, I'll do L inverted, U, R, U inverted, L, U, R inverted. U inverted. And that solves for that corner piece. And I just want to do the same thing again, except this time these three are going counterclockwise. If they're going counterclockwise, I want the piece I'm not moving to be on the front and the left. And from there, I'll do R, U inverted, L inverted, U, R inverted, U inverted, L, U. And now all the corner pieces are now in their correct places. All that's left to do is to rotate these. This will go counterclockwise, that'll go clockwise. And that's the same algorithm for the th regular 3x3x3 three by three by three as well. So from here, I'm going to use the right and the bottom faces. So that's going to be R inverted. I'm sorry. Well, from here, I'm going to start with the bottom since it's going clockwise. So it's going to be D, R inverted. D inverted, R, D, R inverted, D inverted, R. Now move the next piece over so that the other corner piece I'm rotating is now on top and undo that. So I'll start with the right now. R inverted, D, R, D inverted, R inverted, D, R, D inverted, and move the top face back and now you solve the slice cube. Thank you for watching.